So here's the backyard before the flower bed and water feature project. So this project is gonna be a new flower bed from here. All these little thin spots is where it always has shade. So I'm gonna make a flower bed in these corners here and here, and put a fountain right here and some pavers and rock right there along the patio. I'm just getting tired of battling the shade. Bermuda grass hates the shade. So we're going to fix it up. So what I'm doing here is using my straight edge shovel to create the contour of the bed and then coming back with my bigger shovel to scrape up and haul off all this sod. Now doing the same thing to the other end of the bed. So what I'm putting in here is the Rainbird Drip Line Conversion Kit. It takes a regular sprinkler and converts it to a drip line. So I'm going to be installing some plants and flowers and I just wanted to convert it to a drip line to make the watering of, to these plants and flowers a little bit easier. Then I'm putting this valve box around the conversion kit just to protect it so nobody breaks it. Then down to the other end of the flower bed to convert that sprinkler to the drip line also. So I'm just roughly pulling these drip lines out. I'll be cutting them down, getting it more precise whenever I get the plants and flowers. So the majority of the hard work is done. Next is decide what types of materials to bring in for the beds. So this is an old urn that I picked up about six years ago that I had the idea of turning into a water feature, but just haven't done it until now. This is the Little Giant 36 inch water basin. Uh, this was a pain in the butt for where I'm trying to place it through hitting irrigation lines and concrete. It was a pain. So I was thinking of putting this secondary pump just to empty the basin. From time to time, you have to empty it out to change the water. So I thought that'd be the easiest way to do it. And I wanted to tie in emptying the water into my downspout drainage, just so you're not making the grass all sopping wet and it just drains straight out to the street. Here's a tip if you're ever doing one of these fountains, make sure you seal the bottom very well or it'll back feed down into your basin and it'll never fill up like you want. So I originally cut this bed by eye, but here after putting these 24 inch pavers in, there's not a equal spacing in between the border rock and the concrete patio. So I'm gonna make an adjustment so that there is a uniform length in between the patio and the edging stones. So here I'm just putting down a paver base and paver sand 
um, underneath these pavers and I really hadn't planned on putting any concrete underneath them, but I didn't want rain to settle these things unevenly. So this will just ensure that they stay put where I want them. So it's all starting to come together. Next step is plants. So this backbreaker of a project turned out to be a total success. It makes sitting around on the back porch a whole lot more enjoyable. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.